So, you want to learn about cryptocurrency? Well, good thing you clicked on this video because you are in the right spot. Today, we are going to be looking at an overview of cryptocurrencies and blockchain. This is for total beginners, 101 kind of stuff here. We're going to be scraping the surface of what uh, cryptocurrencies and blockchain are. But before we get started, if you didn't already know, my name is Nick Mast, and on this channel, we talk about personal finance, investing, and different side hustles that you can try. So if you want to see content like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please hit that like button. All right, now with that out of the way, let's get right into the video here. So in order to understand cryptocurrencies, we have to understand how and why they were created. So around 2008, 2009, those two years here, there was a group of people, a group of developers, coders that wanted to pay each other without utilizing a bank. They didn't want to have to take their money, give it to the bank, and then the bank give it to you. They wanted to go peer-to-peer -peer interaction there. So they created something called Bitcoin. And we all know what Bitcoin is. If you haven't heard of Bitcoin, you've probably been living under a rock. Anyway, it is the first cryptocurrency that was ever created. And it was a bit, it was a way that you could pay it a person directly. So if I handed you a hundred dollars cash right here direct no one else has to get involved no bank involved or anything that's what they wanted but they wanted to be able to do it digitally so that is what bitcoin is used for sorry i meant that was what it's made for all right so now we know why bitcoin was made it's made to limit the use of a bank peer-to-peer -peer exchanges on the internet so now we're gonna go into what actually the bitcoin system is like what physically is a Bitcoin. So in short, the Bitcoin system is like a system of computers that are called either nodes or miners, and they all run Bitcoin's code. So the Bitcoin code that was written by those developers who wanted to create uh, the transfer thing, uh, they created code and then these computers run that code and they run it on a blockchain. So now this is where blockchain technology comes in. So blockchain is just blocks of information that are all linked together. And these blocks need to be linked together in order for the whole system to work. In other words, it's just another database for information. So in Bitcoin's case, what is the blockchain used for? And for Bitcoin, blockchain technology acts as the center for all of its transactions. So it's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet for all of the Bitcoin tra transactions ever. So anyone can see it too. So these, once a Bitcoin is transferred, once this information is put on on the blockchain, it can't be changed or erased. So for example, let's say I send you a Bitcoin. That transaction would go into the blockchain. It would become a block and it would link up to the other ones and it would be there forever. So you can never say, no, you never paid me that Bitcoin because, well, we can just go look on the blockchain because it's available to everyone and we can see, oh, yep, Nick paid you one Bitcoin. So this helps prevent lying and fraud, which we'll get into more in just a little bit. Okay, so we all know Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the big one up here. Everyone knows about it. It's the biggest cryptocurrency. It was the first cryptocurrency. But then there's all these other ones down here. And all these other cryptocurrencies are referred to as altcoins or just alternative coins. They are an alternative cryptocurrency to Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first one, the biggest one. These are just the all the alternative coins. And the alternative coins are coins like ethereum ripple bitcoin cash and litecoin are just some examples there's hundreds more so just to sum that all up an altcoin is a cryptocurrency that is not bitcoin all right so now we're going to talk about the price of bitcoin and how it fluctuates and all that because it can do some crazy numbers someday but it is a currency just like the U.S. dollar. So why doesn't the U.S. dollar change 30% and go up 50% a single day? And that is because it's centralized. It goes through a bank, run by the government, all that. They print a certain amount. Bitcoin is totally decentralized. Nothing affects it. It's totally free from all of the 
governments and from printing money and stuff. So the price of Bitcoin is solely reliant on supply and demand. The more people want it, the higher the price goes, just like per se a limited edition sneaker. If a lot of people want the sneaker and it's sold out, the price on resale websites are going to go way up and just like a super rare Charizard Pokemon card. All right, so that's how it's priced. Pretty simple, just simple supply and demand. But now how is this price kept? So the balances of Bitcoin tokens are kept using public and private keys. Now, keys are just long strips of numbers and letters through a mathematical encryption algorithm. Wow, okay, that was a mouthful, but what does that really mean? So, the balance of Bitcoin is stored in this little key here that is linked to a complex mathematical crazy equation thingy mahuchi that was uh, developed by the developers who created Bitcoin. Wow, that is hard to explain. And like I said before, there are public keys and private keys. So the public key is the large number that allows Bitcoin to be looked at, given, and received. So it's called the public key, key because anyone can use anyone. It can be shared publicly. And then the private key for Bitcoin is meant to be kept secret and it's used to authorize Bitcoin transactions. So it's basically just like if you go to an ATM and you have to put your PIN number in in order to get money. That's basically what the private key is like. Okay, so so far we've talked about why Bitcoin was created, what Bitcoin is, what blockchain technology is, how Bitcoin is priced, and how the balance of Bitcoin is kept. And we're going to talk about one more thing here, and that is the use of blockchain technology. So we talked about how blockchain technology is used just for Bitcoin, but it actually has way more potential than just that. For example, blockchain has the potential to be used for things like supply chains for businesses, uh, digital IDs, things like copyright protection, and real estate transfers. Another good thing is like election voting. And the thing is with all of this stuff, the main thing about blockchain technology is once information is in the blockchain, it cannot be changed, it cannot be deleted. So for things like voting, it would be super hard to like commit voting fraud or try and like hack the voting system because that information can't be deleted and can't be changed. Also for like digital IDs, you can't like fake your ID or anything like that. Copyright protection, it's there. We know who owns it. You can't change who owns it. You can't delete who owns it. It's there forever. We all know and we can all see who owns it. Also like real estate transfers, you can't say, no, you didn't transfer that to me or yeah, he transferred that to me when he actually didn't uh, because it's right there and we can see it. So while blockchain technology is fairly new, it definitely has a lot of potential and I'm excited to see where it can go in the next couple years. All right, guys, that is all we're going to talk about today. Cryptocurrencies 101. I think we overviewed a lot of important points and I know I didn't really explain the uh, how the balance of Bitcoin is kept. You can uh, I will link some other videos related to that topic, videos I can find in the description if you want to go check those out because I know I didn't explain it very well and it's still kind of a little uh, confusing for me as well. Because you know guys, I'm just learning right along with you and I had to do a lot of research for this video so make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. Uh, comment if you want to see more content like this. Tell me what you want to see if you want to see different side hustles anything like that just let me know guys anyway that is all for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you all next time peace